Is there a Tottenham fan out there this morning who can put a case that Mourinho is the right man for your club? 08717-223344-81089. We may as well get to this, Bob Perry. Let's start. Darren, big Spurs fan, right here in London. Darren, good morning to you. Good morning, guys. Hope Hello, you're Darren. Hello, Darren. Good stuff, well, Darren. Now, I, I have to say that at the start of this, yeah, apart from Daniel Levy, I was the only, probably the only person who thought employing Mourinho was great for Tottenham Hotspur, yeah? And what I'm going to say to you is, yes, it's all gone wrong. Yes, you can blame Daniel Levy. Yes, you can blame Jose Mourinho, because that's easy. But I'm going to tell you who's to blame. It's that bunch of footballers who play for my football club are a disgrace. Apart from Harry Kane, there is not one player in that club that deserves to wear that shirt. And I'll tell you why. They stopped playing for Mauricio Pochettino. He got the sack. They stopped playing for Mourinho. He's going to get the sack. They want to look in the mirror and ask themselves a few questions. He's very good to you, Valerice, coming out and saying what he says, yeah? He's been an absolute joke this season. Now, I'm sorry, yes, nobody, the press and all the Spurs fans, most of them, didn't want Mourinho and actually probably most of them are quite pleased that he's failing. But I'm sorry and I know Perry will probably disagree with me because he's an ex-player. Those footballers are a disgrace. OK, Darren, no. you, you lay the blame at the, the, the feet of the players. No, when we were talking, I said, uh, fundamentally, as an individual, it's up to you to give everything you've got. Mm when you come off the pitch, no yeah. matter who you're playing for. I said, so the responsibility does lie with the players. But Darren, what I'd say to you is, so then what do you do now? Do you get rid of a load of players, which ain't happening, or do you get rid of a manager yeah. and try and change the cut? Because there's, a, there's an impasse now. There's, there's yeah, no the problem, working relationship. No, but the problem is, Perry, and I get where you're coming from, it's, it's Cax 22. They got rid of Pochettino because players didn't want to play. Daniel for, Levy let him down, though. Uh, by not getting the players out that he didn't want. Yeah, OK. All right. Okay. But, Darren, the question for me is simple. Is Mourinho the right man? Uh, 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 <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> Come on, Darren. Is Mourinho the right man? Uh, I'm, 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 well, OK, I've not answered uh, your question yet, but I'm giving you a caveat. You're not a politician, Darren, are you? No, go on. No, 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 no he's not. But I can tell you, you can have Pep Guardiola... Jesus Christ and God managing that group of footballers and it would make no difference. All right, Darren, listen, thanks for the call. Wes, big Tottenham fan. Yeah, Wes, you heard God. Darren there. What do you want to say, Wes? I think he should never have got the job in the first place. Right. You weren't having Mourinho from day one, were you? No, he was He was a laughing stock at United and he's taken the identity right out of the club. They're not a bad bunch of players on their day, but he's just got them, they're not playing their strengths. He needs to get out, and Levy needs to follow him out and all. Well, Wes, you heard Darren there, he says the players are to, to blame. Do you agree with him? The same bunch of players who got to the Champions League final. Yeah. Just over a year ago, do you know what I mean? It's not, it's, it's all down to Mourinho. Levy needs to go and all. Okay, to Wes, listen, so many calls. Perry, here's another. Glenn's been waiting. Glenn, good morning. Good morning, all right? Oh, Good Glenn, morning, mate. What do you want to say? Um, yeah, so I'm a season ticket holder for Spurs, come from Bristol literally all the time to watch them, but I never wanted Poch to go in the first place, and the, I think you've got to lay the line with Daniel Levy, because, um, like Perry said, you Levy never backed him. So you had the likes of Bruno Fernandes coming in, which they didn't push to get. The Barla was on the waiting list. It turned the club right. And ship the but got himself too deep in. Oh, we just lost Glenn. It was always going to happen. Yeah, you but the point was what you were saying was that uh, that you know Levy. But then again, all right, Levy's not going to go. It's no good saying oh we've got to get rid of the chain. He's not going to go. So what does he do? I mean, he. I th <laughs> Sorry, I'm sort of with, with Darren. You could bring Klopp in tomorrow. And it's still the same bunch no, of players. Well, I'll tell you what happened was, if you brought the right manager in, I said at the start, it was a massive ga gamble from Daniel Levy, wasn't it, with Mourinho, because mm, they got a mm. stadium to pay for, they wanted to get in the top four. That hasn't happened. He thought the winning, you know, this winning mentality. The Mourinho of 10 years ago, great, because he had that spark on his eye, didn't he? He, was, he had something to prove. and he yeah, could, yeah. But football's yeah. moved on, one, in the way that you play, and also the way that your, your man management of players... I think a, a better manager coming in would get a far 
bit of tune out I'm of those you, players Barry. that are in there. I'm with you yeah, on that. So the, the guys just they've done it Essex, twice. You, you, you made the point. They've done it twice. They've got form. They did it with Pochettino. You can't have players in your, in your squad who you think... If they're not happy, they're going to just... Is Mourinho going to do it at Tottenham, out? Bob? That's a bottom no, line question, know, right. Don't you, you, you don't think he's going to succeed. Perry, is he a wrong man for the job? Absolutely. Right, wrong I man for the job. I think he should give him a five-year contract. Phil, Phil in Essex is saying Spurs players and Mourinho are so lucky there are no fans at matches right oh. now. The fans would let them know exactly what they think, says Phil in Essex. Sean's a big Spurs fan. Sean, go for it. You're through to us. Uh, hi, guys. Uh, Sean. Sean. I don't blame Mourinho. I agree with the first call you had on a minute ago. Wes is a typical Tottenham fan, looks at his glory days. Where has it been? I've had a season ticket for 25 years. Mourinho, in his disastrous spell at United, won more in those three years than we have in the last 40. Right? Our players on last night's starting 11 have all been at the club for over five years. There's no real competition for places. Under Pochettino, we got smashed 7-2 by Bayern Munich. We figured, right, we'll bounce back next game. We lost 3 0 to Brighton. Mm. Right, it's the players. So, Sean, should Mourinho stay in the job? Should he carry on? You're comfortable that he carries on? I, I, listen, as the other caller said, God, Jesus, Glenn Oddle, <laughs> no one could manage these players, right? No one. Sean, can I just ask you this? Are you with Perry? Will winning the League Cup solve a lot of the problems? Will that, will I that keep that you happy? The problem. Will it keep you happy? Do you know why it would? But we're not going to win the League Cup. Man City are going to smash us. Right? Because our players will just fold. They'll go out there, scared to get the ball. The midfield will run away from the balls. We haven't got a right back that can tackle. Ben Davis only goes sideways. Harry Winks is awful. You know, Hoiberg tries hard, but he hides from the ball in midfield. Harry Kane deserves to go and pay for a better club. We are in embarrassment. Right, an embarrassment. Okay, Chris, a Spurs fan. Listen, thanks uh, to you, Sean. Thanks, Sean. Chris, a Spurs fan. One message. It's quite short from Colchester. I think Spurs are at a crossroads. We either stick or twist. He's right. It's half ten.